everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and this is another episode from the BespokePost.com series. Uh, we've got another package in today, and it turned out uh, it accidentally got delivered to my neighbor. And uh, my neighbor was expecting a package, but didn't pay attention. So the box was actually already open um, when, uh, when it was placed in front of my door. So... We'll go ahead and get this uh, out and uh, take a look at what's inside. All right, everybody. Well, here you go. Uh, we've got a small handful of items here. This is the Muse kit, as you can see from Bespoke Post. And as you can see, it does have a bit of a tea theme. Uh, now, on the back, we'll just read... Um, what one of the little pieces here says it says in this fast-paced world it's important to take your foot off the gas and reflect sometimes and uh, then it just gives us a little bit of a rundown about uh, uh, kind of the concept of this and, and what it's about and everything like that so there we go there uh, now as you can see there's a few pieces we'll go ahead and start with the one that seems kind of actually like an oddball one but uh, I do remember reading and understanding maybe a little bit about what this stuff is and what it's for. Uh, now we do have a basically a leather back journal. Very simple. This is lined paper uh, just put into a very thin kind of loose type of uh, notebook kind of pattern here. And then you've got a pretty heavy, uh, basically... I would consider this just to be like a small book cover um, because of the way that it's designed. But this is a pretty thick piece of, uh, of leather here. And so uh, you could actually put a much larger piece in here. Um, you can see there is lots of room in there. So if you ended up filling up your notes here uh, all the way, you could, uh, of course, change it out and put something else in and take those notes and uh, put them into your... Uh, into your stash or your storage or your hideaway place wherever you want to put them maybe you know the idea is to take and write some notes on on uh, your favorite teas and your best uh, your best recipes and things like that so you could take and put it into uh, you know wherever your collection of cookbooks and uh, and everything are so uh, there we go there uh, of course they did give us a uh, a bag of loose loose leaf black tea uh, and uh, on the back it says that it is uh, Wuyi Mountain that's W-U-Y-I Mountain Black Tea and then it just gives you some instructions on the back it even tells you the temperature they suggest for you to get the water heated up to uh, when you're uh, when you're heating up the tea here uh, and, and basically that is uh, at the boiling point the 212 degrees Fahrenheit uh, so there you go there this definitely would be enough for quite a few cups I'm gonna guess this is uh, an ounce or two at least um, let's see what it says it says 40 grams total so I can't remember what that would translate into uh, into actual weight from mass, but uh, you know, like I said, it's probably an ounce, maybe almost two, somewhere somewhere in there. Now, of course, this whole thing right here, you've got a couple of cups and then a small teapot, and uh, these, of course, are a set. Now, these are cast iron, and of course, you can see that on the uh, teapot box right here. And uh, this is by Meridian Provisions. Uh, it, it's considered a traditional cast iron teapot. Uh, now, obviously, it's got a nice um, handle here, uh, nice and smooth right there. It does it does fold over. It's uh, it's very firm. So if you move it, it will stay. It's not going to flop over or anything like that. Um, a little bit of movement here as we work it and it seems to loosen up a little bit but it still seems to stay pretty firm as well it does have the simple little lid here and then on the inside it does have a nice wire mesh strainer so of course you can take and uh, put your tea inside here and use loose leaf tea and put it in there of course if you uh if you were in a pinch you could always use uh, some tea bags just pull the strings off maybe and toss those in here and uh you know heat your tea up that way 
Now, the one thing is, is it does say that this is not for stovetop use. Um, you can see here the base is very small. So this is more of uh, one, you could use this as a decorative piece, uh, but it is definitely made to be able to be used. Um, the inside of the teapot, as well as the inside of the cups here, are black enamel. So they're definitely made to be used. Uh, of course, uh, with them being cast iron and everything, you do want to hand wash those. Don't put those through a dishwasher or anything like that. Um, the chemicals and the way that the dishwasher washes could, uh, could harm uh, the cast iron and possibly cause maybe the enamel to chip off or anything like that. Uh, but uh, this is definitely one of those ones where you can take and put it on maybe a, uh, a shepherd's hook type device and hang it over a uh, small fire or something like that. Uh, for camping out. Uh, if you think about some of the traditional tea ceremonies in uh, the Orient, say uh, Japan or China, um, they, they would use this very similarly where they would set it over top of a uh, small fire and heat their tea up that way. And then of course they have the small cups like this that they would of course drink from. All right guys, well pretty straightforward, not, not a real busy box this time. Um, it, uh, it is what it is, you know, like I said, you've got, uh, basically a nice little tea, tea kit as well as a little notebook here to maybe put down what kind of mixes of teas you put together and what you think of them and everything, uh, or use it for something else if you like, uh, you know, obviously that's not the only thing that it can be used for. Uh, all right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar, and this, is, of course, is another episode from the BespokePost.com series. If you want to check this out or any of the other BespokePost.com stuff, uh, there is a link to that down in the description below, as well as links to our other social media platforms. Uh, and then, of course, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content and would like to see more. Uh, there's also going to be that subscribe button. There'll be one floating around over there. Or if you go down below the video, uh, there's, of course, a subscribe button down there that has a little bell icon beside it. Hit that bell icon, set it up so that you're notified of when new videos are coming out here on World of Me. And, uh, you know, that's really going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you, you share this as well for anybody else that you know might like a, uh, a good cup of tea, some kind of traditional... Uh, kind of ways in, in, in you know the oriental ways or anything like that and uh, you know my name's cougar i'd like to wish you guys all a good day and i will see you later bye